What's up, black and white entertainment fans? It is John Matrix, and I'm coming to you with another video here today, folks. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the merch 15% off in the merch store if you use the discount code Gina Rots, all one word. You can get the Matrix Rose 316 shirt that I'm wearing right now. Check the link in the description. Let's get into this, folks. I wake up this morning very, very early, and I'm browsing on the web, man. And then I find out that last night, Justice League, Zack Snyder's cut was released on HBO Max. And apparently, you know, this was an error on the part of HBO. Th this is pretty crazy here, folks. I mean, the Snyder cut isn't supposed to be released until the 18th. So we got like uh, as of today, we have a uh, what? Nine more days before this cut is supposed to be released on uh, HBO Max. A lot of people are really, really looking forward to actually seeing this movie. I'm looking forward to seeing it also, man. Four hours. I was not a fan of Josh Wheaton's uh, Justice League. That was absolutely terrible. It was one of the worst uh, DC movies I've ever seen. And it is so good, man, to know that this movie will be released by Zack Snyder in his own vision, folks. But let's go over here and let's look and see what happened here. OK, it says Justice League surprises some HBO Max subscribers with accidental debut. OK, so it says here fans have been waiting years for its arrival. And on Monday, Zack Snyder's Justice League came 10 days early for some HBO Max subscribers. Now, I have HBO Max. Um, I didn't actually uh, log on to HBO Max yesterday, and I wasn't actually looking to this uh, new Tom and Jerry uh, movie that was coming out anyway, so I was not spoiled. But it says here, for some reasons unknown, when some users attempted to play Tom and Jerry, the new CGI live-action hybrid film from director Tim Story, instead, the upcoming Justice League cut played. The anticipated four hour film from Zack Snyder is not due out until March 18th. How in the world did HBO Max mess this up? I really, really do not get that. And you know what? Maybe some of those people that were actually looking forward to um, that actually want to watch um, this uh, Tom and Jerry film. Maybe they were actually anticipating watching um, Justice League Zack Snyder's cut. But however, I believe it stayed up for about an hour and then it cut off. So the people that were probably looking forward to um, Justice League, they got spoiled. They got spoiled for an hour. Then they got the rug pulled from underneath them. So this is a statement that they actually put out. Zack Snyder's Justice League was temporarily available on HBO Max and the error was addressed within minutes. The streaming service said in a statement. The Justice League era first came to light when Dub Bass, Dub Bass of Charlotte, North Carolina, noted it on Twitter. Bass, Bass told the Hollywood Reporter he attempted to watch Tom and Jerry, but instead was able to access one hour of Justice League before it was cut off. When Bass tried to restart the film, Tom and Jerry played as it should have, suggesting that users were able to to catch a certain amount of Justice League in the window it was available. Several other users have noted this error and the Hollywood reporter was able to access justice league via HBO mats. When the Hollywood reporter reported attempted to play Tom and Jerry first an error message appeared and then Snyder's justice league cut began. When pausing the film, a message said the user was watching Tom and Jerry. Some users shared screenshots of justice league, but on Monday night, Twitter, sent takedown notices on behalf of Warner Brothers to those who shared screenshots. Man, I just don't get how this could actually happen. I really, really don't. Somebody at HBO Max may end up losing their job over this. You know, they probably will. Uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League is one of the most anticipated HBO titles of the year. This journey to the screen has been an object of fascination among fans with the project taking on mythic status in the years since Snyder left the film after a family tragedy, only to return to complete his vision more than three years after a theatrical cut he did not oversee hit theaters. 
Snyder said, shot several new minutes for his cut, which was announced May, re, announced in May, including a moment between Ben Affleck, Batman, and Jared Leto, Joker. Yeah, that looked really, really good. And it just goes on, you know, talking about all this other stuff, man. This is, this is pretty ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. I mean, I wouldn't want to be spoiled like that because when, when I, when I actually go and watch Justice League on the 18th, I plan on watching all four hours immediately. I plan on watching it that way. And I believe it's actually going to be released like that. And I think they have like a four different one hour episodes. That's the way they're playing it or something like that. I heard, I'm not really sure, but however, you're going to be able to access it all at one time. I mean, I may watch two hours, then I may actually end up taking a break. You know, I did the same thing with Cobra Kai because uh, Cobra Kai overall is like five hours long. If you uh, watch all of uh, season um, season three and I took uh, breaks. So I probably end up doing the same thing with, with Justice League. But man, I would not want to be spoiled like this. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white entertainment fans. Did you actually end up catching the glitch of Justice League when you're actually supposed to be watching Tom and Jerry? If you did, let us know that in the comments below. Or are you actually looking forward to Justice League as much as I am? I'm definitely looking forward to it, folks. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Entertainment, and we'll catch you next time.